Welcome to Mighty Military. Today's story takes us to the Black Sea, to Turkey's fast-moving unmanned combat aviation revolution, and to a radar that is quietly reshaping how drones fight, see, and survive in contested airspace. On 30 November 2025, something unprecedented happened over the Black Sea. Turkey's jet-powered unmanned fighter Kizilelma carried out a beyond-visual-range air-to-air engagement using Aselsan's Murad AESA radar. According to reports, the unmanned aircraft detected, tracked, and destroyed a high-speed aerial target using a Gukdoan missile, guided entirely by its onboard radar. This was not a scripted demonstration or a lab test. It was a real operational trial, and it marked what many observers describe as the world's first recorded BVR air-to-air -air kill by a jet-powered unmanned aircraft. Just weeks later, in early January 2026, Aselsan confirmed through its official communication channels that the same radar family, specifically the Murad 100A AESA nose radar, is now being prepared for integration on Turkish Aerospace's Anka 3 Stealth UCAV. With that announcement, a clear pattern emerged. Turkey A is not developing isolated platforms or one-off technologies. It is building a unified, sovereign radar and combat ecosystem that spans manned fighters, high-end drones, and stealth unmanned aircraft. At the heart of this ecosystem is the Murad radar family. Murad 100A is the nose-mounted AESA variant already flown on the F-16 Uzgur modernization aircraft, Bayraktar Akinji and Kizilelma. Murad 110A represents the formally described fire control reference configuration. Aselsan describes this radar not as a single-purpose sensor, but as a complete surveillance and engagement system. It is designed to provide situational awareness, threat identification, target prioritization, engagement management, and missile guidance within one integrated architecture. Technically, Murad operates over a wide frequency band and offers high aspect angle coverage, which is critical for both air combat and ground attack. It uses gallium nitride power amplification for higher efficiency and greater output, and it relies on digital beam forming at subarray level. Time interleaved operation allows the radar to conduct air to air and air to ground tasks simultaneously, switching roles in milliseconds without losing track quality. This is the kind of flexibility once limited to top tier manned fighters now being pushed decisively into the unmanned domain. Aselsan lists a broad range of air-to-air -air capabilities, including beyond-visual-range missile guidance, all-aspect and high-aspect search and tracking, multiple and agile target tracking, helicopter detection, and weather modes. On the air-to-ground side, the radar supports high-resolution strip map and spotlight SAR, ground-moving target indication and tracking, precision ground mapping, fixed target tracking, and accurate air-to-ground ranging. Because the antenna uses many solid-state transmit-receive modules, individual module failures do not cripple the system. The radar maintains high availability even in combat conditions, a particularly important feature for unmanned aircraft expected to remain on station for many hours or even days. This is already transforming Bayraktar's Akinji UCAV. Akinji combines a high-altitude long-endurance airframe with a payload capacity of roughly 1.5 tons, a service ceiling around 40,000 feet, and endurance exceeding 24 hours. Before AESA integration, platforms like Akinji were primarily associated with electro-optical sensors and SAR-based ground surveillance. With Murad 100A on board, Akinji moves into a different category.
it can now generate and maintain its own air and surface tracks, provide mid-course guidance updates to precision munitions, and contribute to electronic attack and electronic support missions using agile beam steering and adaptive waveforms. An equally important aspect is production and upgrade philosophy. Aselsan's AESA line is moving into serial production, from GAN chips to the final radar system. Because the hardware architecture is shared, new capabilities can be added largely through software. Higher resolution SAR modes, improved moving target discrimination, collaborative targeting algorithms, and advanced electronic attack functions can all be rolled out incrementally. This means that Akinji, Kizilelma, and Anka 3 can evolve together, sharing radar modes, threat libraries, and operational logic, creating what is effectively a common sensor language across Turkey's manned and unmanned air fleet. Anka 3 is where this evolution becomes strategically transformative. Turkish Aerospace began the Flying Wing UCAV program in 2022, completing the design and systems requirements phase before achieving first flight in December 2023. Since then, the aircraft has moved rapidly through flight test milestones. Official data describes Anka 3 as 8.9 meters long with a wingspan of 13.1 meters and a height of 2.6 meters. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 7,250 kilograms and a payload capacity of 1,600 kilograms carried on internal and external stations. Powered by a turbofan engine, Anka 3 has a service ceiling of 40,000 feet and a maximum speed of Mach 0.7 at 30,000 feet. Its combat radius is quoted at around 1,075 kilometers in an air-to-air -air configuration and about 750 kilometers in air-to-ground missions. Turkish Aerospace highlights low radar observability, a common avionics and ground segment architecture shared with Anka and Aksungur, manned-unmanned teaming, swarm technologies, and artificial intelligence support as core features of the design. The aircraft is intended to carry a full spectrum of payloads. These include electro-optical targeting systems, AESA radar, infrared search and track sensors, laser-guided, imaging infrared and INS-slash-GPS-guided air-to-ground munitions, radar-guided and imaging infrared air-to-air -air missiles, and electronic warfare payloads covering comment, ELINT, electronic support measures, and electronic attack. Integrating a powerful AESA radar into a slender flying wing design is not trivial. It likely requires careful shaping of the nose volume or the use of distributed arrays along the leading edges. The modular nature of AESA technology makes such solutions feasible and attractive, especially for missions demanding wide-angle SAR coverage and electronic warfare flexibility. Kizilelma provides the operational proof of concept for what Murad can deliver on a combat UCAV. Reports describe an autumn 2025 test campaign in which Kizilelma flew with Murad integrated alongside the toy gun electro-optical system. In one widely discussed scenario, the unmanned fighter simulated an F-16 kill using a Gukdoan BVR missile cued by the radar. This was followed by the 30 November 2025 Black Sea engagement, where Kizilelma detected, tracked, and destroyed a high-speed aerial target in a live-fire event. Together, these milestones demonstrate that the radar family is not experimental. It is already supporting real air-to-air -air combat tasks on a fast, maneuvering, unmanned platform. On Anka 3, the emphasis will be different. Rather than high-speed interception, the radar's strengths will support extended-range detection, persistent SAR mapping, long-duration electronic support missions, and the ability to act as a forward sensor and engagement supporter for other shooters in the network.
Anka 3 can illuminate targets, relay high-quality tracks, and support beyond-visual-range engagements conducted by Kizilelma, Akinji, manned fighters, or even surface-based air defense systems. Strategically, integrating Murad 100A onto Anka 3 advances Turkey's ambition to build a layered, sovereign sensor and air combat architecture. A stealthy flying wing UCAV equipped with an AESA fire control radar can operate deep inside contested environments, extending national air surveillance reach without exposing pilots. In regions like the Eastern Mediterranean, the Black Sea, or the Middle East, this complicates adversary planning. Air defense systems now must account for long endurance, low observability, radar-equipped unmanned platforms operating in concert with manned aircraft and ground-based sensors. There is also a clear geopolitical dimension. Murad is developed domestically from gallium nitride technology upward and is designed from the outset for both fighters and UCAVs. This reduces vulnerability to export restrictions and positions Turkey as a supplier of complete, radar-equipped unmanned combat systems for partners seeking alternatives to US or European solutions. Radar, missile, platform and software are all coming from a single national industrial base, a level of vertical integration few countries can currently match. By moving Murad 100A from the F-16 Özgür, Akinji, and Kizilelma onto the Anka 3 stealth UCAV, Aselsan and Turkish Aerospace are turning separate flight campaigns into a coherent, multi-platform combat system. The combination of Anka 3's low observable flying wing design with a nationally developed AESA fire control radar signals that Turkey's unmanned air power has entered a new phase. These drones are no longer just ISR assets or weapon trucks. They are becoming full participants in air superiority, electronic warfare, and long-range strike. For regional air forces and global observers, the forthcoming Anka 3 configuration with Murad 100A will be a key indicator of how quickly this vision becomes deployable reality and how far a sovereign radar and UCAV industry can reshape the balance between manned and unmanned air combat in the decade ahead. This is Mighty Military. If you want more deep-dive analysis on emerging air power, unmanned warfare, and next-generation military technology, stay tuned.